So my name is Monty Metzger, I'm CEO at LTX and I'm here because our company is headquartered in Liechtenstein and it's called the Liechtenstein Crypto Assets Exchange and we are excited and proud to have Don Tapscott as an advisor here and welcome you at our LTX blockchain session. Well, I personally um, got involved 2013 into blockchain and crypto in investing uh, when I met my friend Adam Draper and he dragged me into the topic and said, you have to go all in. And I, I honestly have to say, I underestimated the topic at the beginning. Also during the time, it wasn't so exciting because the value of the tokens were not there as high as they are now. But uh, I kept working on it and uh, now I'm building kind of the key infrastructure of institutional investors joining the space. And I see that's the big next wave of the industry shifting from the early kind of proof of concept into something which is really disrupting the financial system. So LCX is building the key infrastructure for institutional investors entering the space of um, investing, holding and trading in crypto assets. So why are we different? I think it's a simple answer. The current infrastructure in blockchain exchanges, crypto exchanges are not feasible that financial professionals and financial institutions are able or even allowed to invest. Some companies don't even have an imprint. Others are not fully with, uh, regulated uh, and don't have a KYC and ML process in place. And these things need to be solved um, that the barriers which are blocking the institutional investors currently to invest, they, the barriers have to be overcome. And that's exactly what we're trying to build, to go a regulated and compliant way and to build the tools on the software side and on the regulatory side that we uh, basically open up the market for more innovation. So the current ups and downs of the market doesn't affect us at all. I think we are still at the beginning of the industry and there, there's tremendous growth opportunity in the future. If you think about derivatives, real estate, stock markets and the whole global currency market, we are still in the tiny, tiny area. And so that's why we work with central banks and banks and try to learn and, and get to know their kind of pain points, why they are not using this super innovative technologies to make the financial world more efficient.